Good day everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Mark and this is Mark and Cars. I am in my GR Yaris and on my way to meet up with my metalwork guy who is building a base to mount a race seat into this car for a track day or coming up on Sunday. Anyway, um, the reason I need the custom made base is because I'll explain it here. So this is the seat that I'll be fitting. It is the Rev QRT. Here it is there. Sparco seat. Uh, fits me quite nicely. Um, when I got the seat, it, I also ordered it with these brackets, but they're not really that suitable for a couple of reasons. One, they don't offer enough height for me to get the seat high enough vertically. So um, to that end, I'm going to have to make some custom brackets, which I've got a James making those for me. As I'm not actually going to need these brackets, if anybody's after a pair and um, wants to cover the postage, maybe send me a carton of beer or something, they're all yours. Just get in touch with me. So now you understand, the I will be test fitting it. We might have to make a few changes on the way. It's all just tack welded up at the minute, so I'd say there could be a bit of um, moving around. Anyway, we'll see how it fits. So I've just put this in. Um, it's just a little bit, hang on, let me get this picture a bit better. There we go. So we just put this in, it's just a little bit too narrow at the front. We just put this in, it's just a little bit too narrow at the front. So we're going to um, widen it out a little bit. You can see in the back of the car, I've actually installed this uh, harness bar and uh, it was designed to be not usable with the back seats, but James, who's making the um, seat mount for me, also made these loops that he welded to it because the harness bar mounts on the same um, mounting point as the factory seat mounts allow to clip back so I can still keep the harness bar in with the seats up and still use the back seats. Toe points, I've actually drilled out the uh, cover, toe point cover, so that it's on the whole time, fills it in. I've done something similar to the front, you'll have to forgive how dirty the car is. Just come around and show you the front one as well. Done the same on the front, you can see there. A couple of other modifications which you may or may not be aware of. Got the um, rally flaps being fitted in red, which I think look, love them on the car. I've got the uh, Koya wheels in white semi-forged wheels from Queensland. Those guys at Coyer have looked after me. Thank you very much. Uh, painted the calipers red throughout the car and put the GR decal on. Actually spaced the wheels out as well so that it is snug in there. And I've also fitted the Kumo V730 extra tyres, which is sort of like a semi-slick type thing. Have a look at those. Uh, another modification that's been made in the car is I've got the mirror uh, lifter. It lifts it, I think it was about 20 millimeters. So it increases this gap here, which you can see is pretty token at best. But um, a lot of people complain about the height of this, but when I'm seated in the car, actually you can see the bottom of the windscreen above it. So even if that wasn't there, it wouldn't be obstructing my vision. And uh, in an effort to keep my phone in the car while I'm driving, I've also installed just a bit of rubber there, like a tool draw mat that I've cut to shape to fit in there so the phone can not run away when you're ex when I'm accelerating the car. So this is the engine bay of the car. Um, still has the stock air box, turbo, still has got stock exhaust and everything in it. But there is one modification. Let me run here through here slowly and put in the comments below if you see it. Oh, sorry about the shadow there of the uh, GoPro. Okay, it's a couple of days later now, and James has actually finished the mount for me. I'll just pull it out here if you have a look. Okay, so you can see there's um, quite a bit offset from the center of the form. The four mounts here are where the seat's gonna sit so that the seat is actually mounted center on to the steering wheel. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, paint this now that it's all finished. Let's um, see how it all goes. I'm gonna use this Dulux Metal Shield Steel Primer. Okay, I actually uh, hung this up in the tree here so that I can get all the bottom and everything painted. I'm actually going to move it so that it hangs from a different eyelet. Just because this side's going to be the one that's most visible. 
Make sure you've got all the dust and everything off it. And I'm going for a gloss black. Okay, so the base is painted gloss black. It is being secured with Caphead Allen bolts, M8. Um, the eyelets have been fitted for the harnesses. So the two side waist ones and see if you can see in there maybe there you go between the leg mount so here's the wiring loom and it's actually the yellow one here that I'm going to put a resistor between the two pins here to simulate the fact that there is an airbag that I'm about to install the seat without okay so I've got the 2.2 ohm resistor here that's what it looks like um, place that on the pins in here so this is obviously the car side of the loom so that's placed in I've actually bent it over I'm going to tape it in so that if we're going you know spirited driving it's not going to fall out so I'm just going to put a piece of tape over the top of it so that's the airbag taken care of Okay, so it's sort of in the right place. Let me can't give a bit of bit of a better viewpoint here before I bolt it all in. Um, um, geez, it looks a lot smaller and slimmer compared to the factory seat. Good height here, which I've got my. Um, okay, um, I've got pretty good um, height vertically so I can see out the windscreen. That's right at my eye height so I can see above the um, entertainment system. Clutch is good. Overall, the height of these will be spot on because it's got to be, my shoulders have to be above them. And uh, when I have the front head restraint thing that the helmet bolts onto, that will be easily above it. So yeah, this is all looking good so far, so I'm going to tighten up the seat. Okay, so I've got everything pretty much adjusted. Um, so I've got the laps here. And the shoulder harnesses. And pull down and tighten and I am in I can tell you so this is good I'll um, I have to adjust these slightly for when I've got the um, front head restraint on but yeah overall pretty happy with the fit so far um, I was gonna finalize double them over the loops on the harness bar and the between the legs but overall it all fits good I'm really happy with the seat height position did, some, did a lot of calculations and back and forth from there, so I'm glad it's all worked out. So now, all I've got to do is get the car to the track. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing, click the notifications bell. I don't actually have many subscribers anymore. I've got a good base, but it's not growing at all. So please think about it. Share the video to anyone you think might like it. This Yaris content's relatively new compared to the Porsche content that's on the channel, which there is plenty of. Anyway, let's grow the Yaris content at the track and do a little bit of competition work. Again, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Glad you enjoyed parking cars.